Hey, yo, foreigner, you crazy for this Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, they think I'm jab riding when I'm left hooking. Fiends said they love me cause they know I keep that sack moving. Sad to say, but this the life that I have grown in. I had to hustle, skipping class, man, I was truly. I can flip some Bucket Discussions channel, Bucket Discussions page. We got a very special video. It's for Planet. Something that we needed to tap into. As you all know, we're big fans of the high school hoop scene. We've been locked in all year, watching and seeing what all these young cats do today. Young ladies what they do in high school. So today we have a all-star team. The first edition, Bucket Discussions, all-star team. We're gonna put together our lineups and we're gonna put this player at this position. We're gonna tell you why, man. So it's very highly requested. We had a lot of people telling us, hey man, talk about this player, talk about that player. So it's only right that we talk about all of them, man. So give a little credit to everybody. Yes, sir. You, first off, shout out to all you young cats that have been hooping, you young ladies that have been hooping. And shout out to Seaman for winning a 5A state championship. And shout out to Washburn Rule for winning a 6A state championship. That's big. Ladies. Y'all put on for y'all school. Y'all put on for y'all city, man. So congratulations. Sure. Sure. All right, man. Let's let's start it off, man, with with our first. We talk, we, we're talking point guards, man. Our first player we have on our all-star team goes to Quincy Kidd, uh, a graduating senior at Washburn Rule High School, man. Um, got to see this cat play a couple times, man. Vision is crazy. Good vision. Um, he's catching players from all angles, throwing dimes and things like that. Um, lefty, good shot, nice shot, bro. He can shoot the ball. Uh, I just overall like his game at the, at the one spot, bro. Uh, uh, a good point guard can get the ball where it needs to be, can score, because we know nowadays the point guard's got to be able to score. Um, so, man, um, for sure. just want to, just excited to see what he does at the next level, man. Uh, congrats to you, man. On one of your phenomenal season, man. Keep doing your thing, bro. Number two, at the shooting guard position, we got Scrappy Ontario Roberts. Sure. I feel like this is self explanatory. Already got brought the shooting <laughs> guard. Said, Obviously, we know he can play either position, point guard or shooting guard. But in my opinion, at shooting guard with a player like Quincy, it's passing and vision, I feel like it's just a whole different dynamic that you got to worry about because we got two guys that can light up the, the stat sheet. And then you got Scrap. The, the, the smoothest player, I told him when, when he was on our show, the smoothest player that I ever seen in high school basketball in Topeka, man. Super smooth, super comfortable. And there's not really a lot of players. Actually, I don't think there's any player that I can really check, bro. So I feel like those two in the backcourt, that's going to be very dangerous, man. Scrappy, he can score from each level, can handle the ball. Like we said, he's very comfortable and smooth, and his vision's crazy. So you're going to have passing from both your, your point guard and your shooting guard, man. So I feel like that's the perfect combination they bounce each other out. Yeah, for sure, bro. Yeah, coming into the number three at our small forward position, we got Elijah Brooks from um, Topeka West. I mean, obviously, just like he said, it's pretty self-explanatory, man. Um, we have, you know, a decent amount of talented players in here, and Elijah Brooks is definitely one of them, you know what I'm saying? He's definitely the top tier. Um, he just got a good all-around game, you know what I'm saying? He's got a good IQ, uh, you know what I'm saying? He can pass the ball, he can shoot the rock, he can get inside the paint and uh, execute that way if he really needs to, so... Yeah, man. I mean, his his game's pretty self-explanatory. If you haven't got a chance to watch him, I definitely recommend you know just like looking at his highlights or something. He's definitely um, an entertaining. Time. Yeah, facts. He's, he's very effective too. Very efficient player. So, yeah, that's that's our small forward position right now is Elijah Brooks. Yes, sir. Now we're gonna we're gonna come to our power forward position. We got Ty Henry. Shout out to them boys, five A state champs, man. Y'all did y'all thing, man. Um, sure. Capped off the season with a, a, a state title. Hey, could have did it any better, but um, hey, and bro, he spotted him out too, bro. We, yeah, before bro. we even knew who Ty Henry was, bro, we was at the game sitting in the crowd. I said, hey, bro, look he like he can move. Me just watching people warm up, I seen he had a flick of the wrist. He was his, like his court very coordinated. Seen the way he laid the ball up, and one thing I pay attention to is footwork, uh, especially at a, this age. You can kind of like look at people's footwork to tell how good they are. Um, just like even basic mastery of a, the simple footwork. If you can see a person like do that comfortably, like unconsciously, you know, like, okay, they've been working. So his, so let's, let's talk about Ty Henry's game, man. Um, to shoot, get in the post and make post moves like crazy. I ain't gonna lie. He can, he got, he got the athleticism to keep up, bounce, um, can play defense, but his jump shot, man, midi is money. He can hit the three. Um, I just like his game, man. Watching him uh, play versus HP. Um, he was one of those cats that was like kind of not backing down. He's like, hey, we out here hooping, let's do it. Um, he got him a dunk, dunk off. Um, 
post moves good, man. I just like his footwork. I like his game all around. So congrats to, to him, man. Congrats to Seaman, man. Good work y'all did in the 5A uh, bracket, man. Uh, so we're going to pass it to talk about our center position. Let's get that in, man. Hey, man. This front court is going to be insane, man. We got, like you said, Ty Henry, all the great stuff that he can do, plus rebounding. Then we're going to go ahead and throw Bo Aldridge. We're going to throw him at center. That's very dangerous for one, one reason and one reason only. The man is crazy around the rim. His touch is, is, is amazing. He can rebound, and he's a human eraser. Defense is crazy. Hey, if you just so happen to get past any of our any of our guys, uh, Quincy Kidd, Scott Roberts, Elijah Brooks, we got Bo Aldridge on the back end to clean it up. <laughs> so, Bo, I think what makes him special, like I said, is his touch around the rim, his feel for the game, his footwork as well. Like he said, at this age, you don't see a lot of kids in high school that have great footwork. Bo has great footwork. He's coachable, and I feel like he just embodies a, a team player. Like he does whatever he needs for his team to win. If he needs to, if he needs to shoot the ball, he will. If he needs to just score, he'll score. If he needs to rebound, he'll rebound. Pass. Then the defense is amazing. He can pass. And I just feel like that's the perfect back end, man. Like I feel like a lot of people are not gonna be able to score on that. And then as far as rebounding, I feel like nobody's really gonna be able to rebound on that team like that. So. I think Bo, yeah, he's definitely a monster. As we know, he'll dunk on you. He the mid range is crazy. Him and him and Ty Henry, that's just a, a dangerous, a dangerous combination, man. So I don't think a lot hey, of people stop and pop. A lot of people's not gonna be able to score on that team, man. So for sure. that's the perfect, that's the perfect center for us, man. Thanks. Yeah, for sure, bro. Yeah, he ain't lying. But um, coming in at our six man position, we got um. I got to watch this guy play several times over the course of the season. My main takeaways are. He's an extremely smart player. Most importantly, he makes his teammates better. Obviously, he can score, but he's also a leader on the floor. And he has all the tools that you want in a point guard. Too bad we couldn't start six players, but he definitely deserves to be on this list. Yeah, Lions. Lions, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, he's a 5 so he still has a lot of potential. But right now, man, he's a scoring threat off of our bench. You know what I'm saying? He can come off. Um, give us a couple quick threes. Shit, he can even give us a couple dimes real quick. You know what I'm saying? Set a couple of our players up. Um, he's definitely got a pretty high IQ, especially like I said, for being a freshman. That's it's pretty impressive, honestly. Um, but uh, yeah, man, that's our six man. Yes, sir, man. Shout out to Isaiah Lyon. Hey. We're at Topeka High, who been man doing his thing freshman year. Came out. I'm um, sure. the tone for Topeka High, man. Hey. Um, they have a new program. Shout out to what they got going over there. They got a new program. He kind of came out like. Hey man, a young cat playing at that level, varsity basketball, man. That's good work, man. Shout out to all the good work you've been doing. Keep it up, bro. Sure. Um, so now we're gonna talk. Real quick, like he said, Isaiah Lyons, he's a youngin', so he still has a lot of room to grow mm -hmm. as far as his game. And he's already, in my opinion, pretty polished for a, yeah. a young player. So I feel like he just he's only gonna get bigger, gonna get taller, and get just better. keep getting better. Thanks. You feel me? For sure, sure. man. Also, another young player, another player with another year is uh Bo. Bo got it. He got it. He's, he's a good. junior. Yeah. He'll be a senior next year. I'm so excited to see what he's going to do next year as well. Yes, sir. But, um, let's get to this number seven spot, man. <laughs> so we got Xander put off. Now, first few times I watched him, I was like, who is this? <laughs> like, when I tell you letting it go, bottom of the net, I was like, bro, he didn't hit like three or four already. What he got going? So I'm, I'm watching him. And, like, first game I seen him play, I was like, he's a shooter. He's letting it go. Second game I seen him play, He's shooting it again. And then I talked to bro. He watched him at the state game. He like, bro, Xander put off is putting a rock on the floor. And he's getting by, he's getting to the rim. And he can hit the three. And I think what makes a person hardest to guard is when you can shoot. Because when you can shoot, everybody's already out there trying to get up and close stretching, out the shot. Stretching out the defense. Right? Stretching out the defense. You hit him with a pump fake, the lane is wide open, I promise you. Because everybody's selling out and banking on you to shoot the jump shot, man. So I like your game, man. I like what you're doing, man. Um... Shout out to that program over at Topeka West, man. They, they they do very well with player development. I, I constantly see players go there and get a lot better, man, develop their game. So shout out to what they got going over there. And also shout out to all the coaches, man, for these teams, man. For yes, sure. sir. And yeah. also, like we said about, about Xander put off, man. Some say he's the best shooter in the state, and they get no argument from me, man. The way he can shoot the ball, it lights out. And then I watched him in Emporia. 5A State tournament, man, just to see him put the ball on the ground and just really give Topeka West a boost when they needed it the most. Was just, it was impressive to me, man, and just good to see. So, 
Shout out to you, man. You've been lighting it up all year. Um, but yeah, man, excited to see what you're doing on the next level. So. Hey, quick, I want to I want to write off just a couple names that guys want to touch on um, that that didn't necessarily make the list, but that I still feel did they? Yeah, Jameer, 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 my fault. Jameer, uh, a blue guy can shoot the rock, shoot like the rock. crazy. Um, just gives the team energy, man. Yeah, for sure, man. I, I watched him play a couple times, man. I like what he did there. Um, give me my else. Then we got we got um, zero from HP. Your name is slipping my mind right now, my fault. But, bro, you're a, a glue guy, like I said. You Very play aggressive. aggressive. Yeah, bouncy. You give the team energy, man. Like, players like you are very important to, to every team, man. Like, you're just a, a dog all around, man. For sure, man. Um, Do you? Yeah, that's just a few of the names. Now y'all want to head off and talk about the lady, lady ballers out here, man? Let's get it, man. Let's do it, man. So, at the one spot, we got Talia Thomas, man. Um, she's been doing this since what, freshman year, even in, in middle school, she's been hooping. But um, she's been doing this since freshman year, so her hooping is nothing new to nobody. Everybody knows she can hoop. Um, we're around the game, can shoot the rock, pass the rock, plays defense. And one thing I think is important here, what I just said is playing defense. Um, playing defense at this level, I think that's what the, the big thing for Topeka High basketball was, was defense. Because oftentimes you see these crazy scores where the other team has scored maybe 20 points and they got like 80, 60, 70. Um, so I think her game is well-rounded, man. She's going off to Northwestern, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Northwestern University. Yeah, down I in Oklahoma, man. Uh, shout out to Larry. I believe he's hooping down there. Larry White, he's hooping down there as well. But yeah, man, she's a well-rounded player, man. Uh, excited <laughs> to see what she's going to do on the next level. Sir, good luck. Good luck on the next level. Keep continue to do your thing. Thanks. Hell yeah! Coming in at number two at our shooting guard position, we got Kiki Smith. And I mean, pretty self-explanatory why she's on this list. Probably, honestly, one of the best uh, lady hoopers here in uh, Topeka, honestly. Um, she has pretty much, you know, an all-around game. Like my boy Taj was telling me, man, she's been, you know, um, very experienced from a very young age. So that's really helping her right now. You know what I'm saying? She just, she separates herself from a lot of these other uh, hoopers out here. You feel me? So it's just good to see. And uh, she's got a good all-around game, like I was saying, man. She can pass the ball. She can shoot the, she can shoot the ball. She can do a little bit of everything, and she's a pest defensively. Yeah. Um, she'll lock down your best player on the opposite end of the floor, you feel me? So, And that's what you want to see, especially from someone that can score the ball as efficient, you feel me? Mm -hmm. uh, you want a player that can score and also defend at a high level, and that's what you're getting when you uh, have her as a shooting guard. So that's why we got her on this list, man. Extremely talented, like you said, all-around player. Fact. Another thing, one point I feel like we didn't hammer home enough is just how great of a player she is. And she's truly one of the best players on this list, boys and girls. She's very talented. The fundamentals are very smooth. And you can tell she just pays great attention to detail when she's out there on the court, man. She's a very high IQ player and just a great player overall. Can do everything on the court for you. All right, at the three spot, our small four, we have Emma Crew, Emma Kruger. She's a dog. Um, just from seeing her play, she's very aggressive. And then on defense, She's a pest. She does everything that you need to do in a player in a small forward. She's very aggressive, like I said. She can grab boards. And she just plays very big. That's what I like about that's what I like out of my three spot. I want you to play big. I want you to be aggressive and rebound and kind of set the tone for the rest of the team. So I feel like we got Tay Thomas. Then we got Kiki Smith. I feel like she'll be kind of an enforcer of the team. The, the, the player that we rely on for just toughness. So Thanks, man. That's our three spot. So now at the four, we got Asia Taylor, man, from Highland Park. Shout out to the Lady Highland Park uh, basketball program. Um, competed all year. Competed all year. I, I like to see uh, a lot of competition from them. They battled it out, uh, win or lose. They they were hooping. But Asia Taylor, man, I got to watch her play a couple times. Um, I like how her skill has developed. We talk about like someone you see them play in middle school. My, she played with my little sister in middle school. Um, just watching her skill develop, she got a lot better. Um, was one of the key players to watch for HP, HP Plus basketball program. So watching her play, I got to see her make a couple good moves. I like the footwork. I like the how she was putting the ball on the floor, man. Um, I just liked her game, man. Uh, she was a, definitely a player to watch. Could rebound, shoot. You also, know, she also an enforcer. She's aggressive. Yeah, it aggressive. sets the tone for the rest of the team. Yes, sir, bro. So we're gonna head off to our center position to round out the, the top five. At the center spot, the far spot, we got Brooklyn at Brooklyn Delay. So first off, we're gonna shout her out for her amazing performance at the 6A state championship game. She won, 
put up 13 and 10, I believe. Double double. So, mm -hmm. I mean, out the center spot, she's 6'3. Um, also plays volleyball, so I feel like that's something that's very important for the development as a basketball player and what she can do as far as rebounding and just being on the boards, yeah. being athletic, um, you know, screen and roll, setting picks, all that, man. So, I feel like she's the perfect five for this team. And watch the rule. They just have a lot of great players over there. Uh, coaching staff is great at developing talent. So I feel like she's one that's just continue to develop over the years and get better. So shout out to her and congrats on signing at Kentucky. Do your thing with volleyball. Hell yeah. Good luck. Congrats to you, man. man. That rounds out our bucket discussions all-star basketball team for the top city hoops, man. Um, congrats to all the players that we mentioned and all the players that felt like they didn't get mentioned, man. Keep doing your thing, bro. Uh, we see you as well, bro. Keep doing your thing. For sure. Yes, sir. Um, we'll definitely be checking you guys out. For sure, man. Continue Next to watch. Season. Continue to lock in with high school hoops, man. I feel like it's important that we always touch <laughs> ground with high school hoops, and I feel like that's, that's something that a lot of people tap into. And I feel like just doing this right here is important because we get to show you guys love and, and kind of give you guys exposure and, that, and just spotlight. Because hey. everybody's not going to be able to go to that next level, whether that's college, whether that's professional. Because mm -hmm. we, haven't, we haven't really seen a lot of that happen just from our city. So I feel like it's important that we spotlight and shout you guys out for what you guys are doing right now, what you guys are doing here, because it's important and it's big. Um, a lot of you guys embody just what basketball is as far as toughness, grit, being a team player, being coachable. So... I feel like it's only, only right that we shout you guys out. And, you know, if you didn't make the team, it's no hard feelings. Um, like you said, just get on our get on our radar next year. Tap in with us. Lock in. So, yes, sir. We'll definitely know. be keeping an eye out. Yes, sir. We're sure, keeping man. an eye, man. Congratulations to everybody on, on great seasons. Um, but, yeah. For sure, man. And one thing I also want to mention, man, is looking through this list, man, there's a lot of student – before the athlete, man, I see a lot of high GPAs sure. here, man. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of cats want to talk about how do I get these big scholarships, okay. these big offers. Hey, you keep your grades up and you can ball. Oh, yeah, he can come play with us any day. Yeah. So <laughs> I'll, that's what we yeah. like to see, man. Hell yeah, man. Keep, keep doing your thing in the in the classroom and on the court. Thanks. Yeah, man, phenomenal, phenomenal uh, list right here, man. Everybody keep, the good, keep up the good work. Hey. <laughs> Dang. All right, man. And last but not least. First off, thank you for tuning into this video, but last but not least, if you were mentioned on this list and you haven't been on the Bucket Discussions podcast for an interview. Hit us, man. We got you. Yeah. Hey, hit us. We just need 10, 15 minutes of your time. That's all we need. Let us know. We just want to interview you. We want to spotlight you, man. So Highlight sure. all your good work. Yeah, yeah, sir, just, just let us know. Hit us up. Uh, respond on this video. Anything, man. But hey, thank, thank you. Bro. Thank you for tapping in. Thank you for tuning in. Signing off, man. Love, man. Boom. Go like I'm Conan, kind of with both hands Switch the flow like it was broken I'm on the road, man Making plays just like DeRozan I shoot my shot And that shit wetter than the ocean I brag a lot But with the wind and come the bow sand